Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. So in today's video I'm doing something very different today. I'm doing a swatch of some eyeshadow palettes. So what I'm going to be doing now, and well they're going to be like random episodes really, I'm going to be swatching um, my eyeshadow collection and then after that I'll do probably like my blushes and highlighters and stuff like that. I was influenced by Make Me Up by Missa who was probably influenced by a lot of people but um, I'm just going to be swatching my eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to be doing them by brands. So last week I did um, kind of sort them out into their brands and um, some brands I have a lot of so I'm not going to do like all these brands together. I think today I have about four different brands that I'm going to swatch for you guys. Um, I don't know how many videos they're going to be because I do have a big eyeshadow collection um, and we'll see how it goes to see if people are really interested in this but um, yeah this could be something different so I hope you enjoy. Okay so I'm going to start off with the Beauty Crop. So I have um, quite a few palettes from them so I thought I would um, yeah start off with them. So I'm going to first show you the Mojito palette. This is a beautiful green eyeshadow palette um, when I started getting into greens a little bit more I thought I would um, pick this up that is probably when I discovered them because I found uh, this palette and honestly honestly I don't know why I'm talking like that but yeah I absolutely love this palette I think it's like 12 pounds um, you can get it on their website as well and as well as Superdrug um, which always are doing like a three for two deal with them or something like that. So I really, really encourage you to look at Beauty Crop. They also um, are available kind of in America, I believe, and also obviously in the UK. Um, I do have an affiliate code with them, which I always leave in the description. That's not why I started on <laughs> them first. Um, I just really wanted to show you them because I do have quite a few palettes. So again, the Strawberry Daiquiri one, an absolutely beautiful red tone palette, which is full of some really nice pinks as well. I have given this palette a lot of love on my channel before, um, just because of the reds are insane um, and the shimmers are pretty damn gorgeous as well. And let's swatch one more. Don't think I've ever swatched this shade, but yeah, like this is pretty good. And then a lot of their, um, their with their eyeshadow palettes, they have sets that you can purchase as well. So you, if you want to buy like multiple eyeshadow palettes, they do sets. So now we've got the Sangria palette, which again is full of like purples, which is pretty dang good. So let's have a look at the shade right here. So yeah, <laughs> that's pretty damn pigmented and then we've got this one on here my hands a little bit wet from the um kind of like cleaning but I've got a towel with me to just kind of clean everything off so yeah these three palettes are part of their kind of drink <laughs> I mean a lot of their palettes are like drink range but um this is part of their kind of cocktail range that's what I meant to say um and then the last palette that I have by them is the Espresso Your Love palette which is I was a bit reluctant to purchase this in the beginning but that's because it has lots of kind of like medium like medium tones so it's not like it's a colorful palette at all but I really recommend this palette honestly it is absolutely stunning so you've got this really gorgeous shade you've got even the matte shades are just insane like my swatching get used to them not being that great but um it's just stunning and i think this one i bought part of a set i can't believe i can't remember if it was or if i bought this individually um but yeah this turmeric one is probably like my favorite shade out of the whole palette <laughs> yeah it's absolutely stunning I mean beauty crop are still quite an, I don't know if they're classed as like an independent brand or if they're a really well-known brand but I um, really like their products and then the next brand that we're going in is with BH cosmetics they are another brand that I have come to gr like you know appreciate for such a long time now so I'm starting off with the optimistic AF palette that I got from Beauty Bay I believe this only came out like a couple of months ago they came out with a big selection of these type of shadows and I absolutely love this palette it is freaking stunning um, and I think it was only like 11 pounds if that probably a little bit more than that maybe but um, 
it's really worth it. BH Cosmetics are very, um, I don't know, they seem to be all over the place with some of their shadows. Like they have some amazing quality shadows and then some I'm not too sure about, but I absolutely love the way that this palette works and the names of them are freaking hilarious. And this shimmer is just, oh wow. Yeah, I mean, this is just a really nice kind of like, um, red yellow tone palette and they do have a big selection of others as well because in this kind of I don't even know what the range is like what the range of this one is actually called but it's like the kind of aff affirmations or whatever it's called like the affirmations like you know don't give a fuck or don't give a shit what's the ones like that they did have palettes with that did have like swearing on them but Beauty Bay didn't have that one so I was a bit annoyed so let's go on to another favorite palette which is the Blueberry Muffin palette. Again, I purchased this on Beauty Bay and it is such a gorgeous palette. It's such an array of just beautiful blue shades. I'm sorry if this reflection here is actually my tripod. I can't really get rid of the get rid of that. But um yeah, this is the shade itself. This is the palette itself. I apologize. And then yeah, you've got some gorgeous blues and you've got some random like darker tones, but you like when you use this palette. Look at this, this is insane. Um, and then their shimmers are pretty dang good as well. Like, I don't think I've even tried that one on my face yet, but um, I really, really love this palette. Um, I really wanna get the Avocado Toast one, but I might just have to pick it up when I'm buying palettes again, because at the moment I seem to have put myself on a ban for buying certain eyeshadow palettes that I don't really need. Um, even though I don't need any of them, but if they're part of a collection <laughs> that I really love um, or a collection that I'm trying, I'm obviously, I am going to purchase like an eyeshadow palette just so I can do like a complete look. So I'm just kind of cleaning my hand off the side. But um, yeah, this came out with, I believe they came out with some highlighters as well. So there's the, um, the waffle one, I believe it is. And then... A blini blush palette or something but this palette is absolutely amazing really recommend it and then we're going on to another palette which I've had for a really really long time I don't think I don't know if these are available anymore but this is the geek no sorry the galaxy chic palette by BH cosmetics and this is the reason that I fell in love with this brand um I still have these I don't know how long it's actually been but I think it was during uni times or not even that but when I used to I can't remember when I had these but I purchased them quite a few years ago um, and they're baked eyeshadows so these are amazing I'm not sure how pigmented they are these days um because I haven't used them in a while I think I keep them for like nostalgic purposes actually look at that okay yeah some of them are still pretty dang good I did try I think it was this palette or another palette a year or so ago and it wasn't as pigmented anymore I think it might have lost its kind of life not life but as in the kind of the effect but they're still super soft actually um okay yeah I think I need to bring this palette out of like retirement and like try it again I don't know if these are still available to purchase um I wouldn't check on Beauty Bay if you're in the UK or somewhere but I would check maybe on the German website or the Amer even the American website, like that website I've had no issues with, like I mentioned before. Um, but if you're looking to like get into baked eyeshadows or something, these are amazing, they're really good. Um, and yeah, I'm actually still surprised that it's still holding up. Um, and then the next one I have is another baked eyeshadow, which is the Solar Flare one. This I bought after buying the Galaxy Chic one. And this one actually did turn up broken because I ordered it from Beauty Bay but they managed to um give me like a couple of pounds back um and I still tend to use that shadow because it's a purple shadow and it is amazing um I think the last time I used this palette was probably two years ago or something like that but it's still some it's still a palette that I will keep forever because it's just got the most amazing gold tones like I really hope I really hope it's showing up um because this palette I don't know what it is it's like that that shade is pretty similar to one of the last shades I just swatched on the other palette but 
I don't know this is just absolutely stunning <laughs> um I yeah I really love these baked eyeshadows I know they came out with some other palettes that were baked eyeshadows as well because I know part of this range they did have some other um eyeshadows but I didn't purchase them because I think the color selection probably wasn't for me whereas this one and the galaxy one are absolutely stunning and now we're going on to <laughs> my my new favorite ones which is um the cherry on top palette so this I have reviewed a few times and recently on my channel as well I think it'll probably be like the last video um but yeah this palette I've mentioned as to why I took so long in purchasing them but I'm so happy <laughs> that I did purchase it so let's go in actually this is the shade that I tried in my last video and it is just beyond stunning um yeah these shimmers are not joking like they are knocking it out of the park and then let's just swatch sprinkles it's insane I wish BH Cosmetics had like a shop in the UK. You can get them in Boots and on Beauty Bay, um, which is fair enough. But Boots don't actually have that much. When you when I look in the stores, so for example, the Boots in my local one or which wherever they're closest by, they don't have any of um, the newer things. It's just the same old stuff again and again. So looking on Beauty Bay is probably going to be the best option, but not for these ones. You have to get them on their website. Um, and then now the last one, which is the pistachio one. <laughs> Absolutely insane. I haven't used this palette in a few weeks, but, you know, that will probably change in once I swatch it. So, again, I haven't used, like, every shade. Look how easy that goes on. How just, oh, my God. I think I really need to pick up the other ones as well, like the blue one is just stunning and they're so soft and the oh my god like i can't i'm just shaking i'm not shaking but like the actual beauty of these palettes perfect so that was bh cosmetics the next brand i'm going to talk about is wet and wild so i only have three palettes by them um i used to have their mini ones a long time ago but because i never really used to use them i just got rid of them so the first one i have is the bretman rock and wet and wild palette for some reason i've only used this once i don't know it was a nice palette when i purchased it i think it was it was on sale for like five pounds or something on feel unique and i was like you know what let's give it a go because at the time um i hadn't have purchased the other palettes that i'm going to show you and i really wanted to just have like a wet and mild palette because i kind of oh that's a bit rubbish um a wet and mild palette in my collection um and i haven't i've only tried this once i only had like one initial um just kind of review on it i might try it again soon we'll see um i'm not gonna get rid of it just because i still feel like it has some amazing shimmers in there um the color selection is nice i don't really i don't know anything about bretman rock so i'm not really sure why i picked up this palette and i mean i don't you don't have to be like a fan of someone to like purchase their collaborations or anything but i think i just got it because it was on sale and yeah i keep the plastic just so it's a bit cleaner and then the next palette I have which is now one of my recent favorite palettes and it's the color icon palette that I recently got from Beauty Bay I think it was about six pounds actually and it's probably on like a little sale that Beauty Bay always have some type of sale on so yeah you've got some really nice new tones a couple of darker tones um, and when I use this on my channel it is stunning so we're gonna take don't know what that drilling noise is i apologize some oh no it's probably a motorcycle now in this area um and then we're going in with another dark one both quite similar but obviously this one's much lighter and then you've got some shimmers which are pretty dang cute that's nice and then this last one which is actually one that i really like which is this one here so yeah for a palette that is six pounds you get one, two, three, four, five, you get 10 shades. Um, so obviously that's like <laughs> less than, I don't I mean, that's like one pound something per shade. I'm not good at maths, but honestly, it's um, 
it's really worth it. I don't, they do have a lot of other shades as well, but I think this one was the one that really spoke to me and that's probably why I picked it up. So the next one, which is obviously the last palette that I have by them, which is the Coffee Cat one. And I really, really love this palette. Again, it's a lot of new tones. I don't know why I've been really into like a lot of new tones recently, but I guess it's a nice change from having something that is, I don't know, just like bright reds or bright greens and you know, just something that is a bit different for like makeup looks. But yeah, this palette is so cute and it does smell of coffee. That's one thing that I was pretty shocked about, even though it's not hard to make these smells these days. Cause if, you know, what are they call Too Faced can do it, then anyone I'm sure will be able to replicate smells like that. Um, and then this, oh, this is stunning, stunning. Yeah, this palette I believe was only, I think it is definitely less than 10 pounds. Um, I think it is, and I, I remember buying it when it was probably on like a discount, because like I mentioned, Beauty Bay always have some type of sale, um, especially like now they have like, a, still have like a 20% off sale, not everything, but like a majority of things, and this was on there, and it's a really nice palette, and um, yeah, always keep an eye out on Beauty Bay for Wet n Wild stuff, because not a lot of other places have their new stuff um so yeah that was it for wet and wild i'm now going to go into lottie london i only have two palettes so the next three brands i have are just two palettes each so i wanted to like show you guys i'm going to be doing like a miscellaneous poll which is like if i have a palette um by a brand that's only like one palette um then i'm going to keep them together so i thought i would do like the twos at least together so yeah this is the rust palette this one is actually amazing i got this on feel unique i think i got it on a sale for about four pounds um but it is just a stunning mini palette um if you like want if you're traveling somewhere if you're going to a wedding if you're going to like a party and getting ready later or something this palette is really travel friendly and just really um just convenient and again, Lottie London, I've not tried a lot of their makeup, but I do know that a lot that they're getting much bigger, bigger these days because a lot of like other influencers are talking about them, but they are a UK brand, I believe. Yeah, that's why it's in London. Oh my God. As you can tell, I'm not with it. <laughs> I've had like a busy morning and my brain is just like not there. It's like hot outside as well today but yeah Lottie London they are um just a really nice brand I really want to try more from them but this palette is super duper nice um and then the other one that I have by them is the Mauves palette this one I'm not too I'm not like completely fond of it has some nice tones to it but I think I purchased it because it was the same like a couple of like four pounds or something for this palette and I thought let's give it a go because at the time the rust palette was is amazing still um and yeah this is still quite nice my hand is like getting really sore um but it's fine we're not we're almost done for this one so yeah that is just some nice shimmers and even with the matte shades um let's try this one it's like a little gray tone that's okay i mean the shimmers are super nice and again it's like four pounds um but yeah, I think, but that's the sale price. I think if you're looking to buy like a full price palette by them, they would probably set you back about seven or eight pounds, which again is quite reasonable um, for the good quality. So yeah, the next brand I'm going in with pretty random, which is like Primark. Um, some of their palettes are pretty decent. I did a declutter, um, I think about four months ago. And there were one or two that I got rid of, but I do have two of their palettes. So one of them I have is... You're my jam. This was like three pounds. I got this. Um, I don't know how long, but it was definitely a couple of months ago. And I did review it like on my channel. It's just some nice pastel shades. I'm not a pastel person, um, but I think the look I did was actually quite nice because it was like a purple shade. I don't think you're going to be able to see this on here because they're just really light toned. But that shimmer is pretty nice. Um, be nice it's kind of nice as like a chunky highlighter as well possibly and let's see what this screen is oh yeah that's quite a nice shimmer um i mean it's primark so 
I, no offense to them, but I don't exactly <laughs> expect like major quality because a lot of them are obviously dupes of some really big brands, um, which is fair enough. And then you would think, you know, for three pounds, they're going to be okay. But to be honest, this palette is really good. The Rose, uh, Rose Swede, Suede, it's not Swede, <laughs> the Suede palette. Um, yeah, this again, I've tried only like a few times on my channel, but it's a beautiful red tone palette. Um, it's not even red tone to be honest. It's like a mixture of um, some just shimmers and just like that beautiful red there. So that is just a really nice palette. They are not like staples in my collection. So they're not like, I really got to dig out that Primark eyeshadow because I really want to try it again. Um, they're just really nice for like reviews if I'm doing like full face of Primark or full face of like cheaper makeup. So those ones are um, definitely ones that I enjoy. Okay, and the last brand that we're talking about today is MUA. I only have two shadow, two eyeshadow palettes by them, which are these two. I've had these for quite a while, to be honest, because I got these part of, um, well, I went to this event with Superdrug and they gave you like a goodie bag and you get these two palettes, which I was extremely happy about. So yeah, you get um, this one, which is called the Tropical Oceana palette. I think you still can get these, but I just not use them in such a long time. They are really nice and the quality is okay. Um, but I think these palettes are like 11 pounds or something like that. Like. MUA are a really reasonable price, especially their makeup is literally like pounds. <laughs> like you can get a foundation for three pounds. You can get like their concealers and everything like that for like under five pounds. Um, and I'm swatching all the shimmers, but they're really <laughs> nice shimmers to be honest. And when it comes to the matte shades, they're just, just kind of okay it's been a while since i've used this palette to be honest so the quality may have faded but i don't know if that's really a thing to be honest i mean i think with certain palettes like if you don't use them for a while or they expire of course they're not going to be as good quality as they used to be so i feel like maybe these ones aren't as well <laughs> they're not feeling that good anymore but yeah this is the burning embers palette so let's give this one a couple of swatch here so I think this one is definitely calling my name it's quite reminiscent to the ones in the BH Cosmetics baked eyeshadow ones that's gorgeous um and then this shimmer as well which is pretty darn nice and then maybe one more shimmer this one's calling my name yeah that one is <laughs> that's pretty stunning um and then again with their matte shades I think this one is pretty similar where they're not as um, stunning as you would probably hope. But, you know, it's still decent for, like, what, 10, 12 pounds. Um, but, yeah, that's still quite a decent palette. Okay, so that's probably going to be it for, like, video episode number one of my swatching. And I look like, I look terrible right now, but I'm sweating. <laughs> that swatching has made me exhausted. But yeah, that was pretty much um, just the first part of a couple of brands of makeup that I do own. I have so much more coming. I'm not going to do it obviously today, but um, make sure you're subscribed because when I do film and upload the next one, you will know. But um, yeah, uh, let me know if you guys enjoy something like that. I'm kind of seeing what happens with like, the locations because I'm doing this in my bedroom but I'm sitting like on the bed and it's awkward not awkward but it's just not as kind of <laughs> maybe visual as you would hope but let me know what you think um and yeah don't forget to like and subscribe because I film and upload every time I get a chance to don't forget to follow me on any of my social medias because I'm always active on there and I hope to see you very soon thank you guys